As the world anxiously waits for the end times, a shocking event has recently occurred that has many people believing it could be the final sign of the rapture. The details surrounding this event are causing widespread speculation and concern. Could this truly be the end of the world? Christian history is replete with believers who have prophesied about the end of the world, with some even going as far as setting specific dates. While these audacious predictions have often gained much attention, they have been notoriously wrong. Radio preacher Harold Camping, for example, had people talking about his declaration that the present world order would end in May of 2011. He later revised his prediction to October of the same year when it didn't happen. But according to Matthew chapter 24 verse 14, nobody can know the exact timing of the end times. So these predictions are nothing more than a speculation. It's easy to see why people get drawn into these end of the world prophecies though. People are afraid of natural disasters, increasing wickedness, and escalating tensions between nations. But it's important to remember that the world has been through tough times and has always bounced back. Matthew 24 and the End of Times It's easy to get caught up in doomsday prophecies and fear-mongering when we think about the end times. But what if we could shift our focus to something more positive? According to Jesus' words in Matthew chapter 24 verse 14, the ultimate sign of the end times is preaching the gospel to all people. However, there is some debate over what exactly this means. Does it require reaching everyone on earth or just every ethnic and people group? Either way, we still have a long way to go. There are at least 5,000 people groups without a viable church planting movement in their midst. But rather than dwelling on the daunting task ahead of us, we should focus on the potential of joy and hope that comes with sharing the good news. As Howard Culbertson points out, nations is synonymous with the plural word peoples. In other words, the goal is to reach every society where people speak the same language, have the same culture, and live in or have originated in the same area. The Heart of God series in Engage magazine explores what the Bible says about missions, including this important passage about spreading the gospel to all people. It's clear that this isn't an optional task. It must be accomplished if we want to fulfill Jesus' prophecy. What are some signs of the rapture as per Matthew chapter 24? The Sign of Deception As we approach the end times, Jesus warned us about the increasing danger of false teachings and deception. He urged us to be vigilant and not let anyone lead us astray. Take heed that no one deceives you, he said in Matthew chapter 24, verse 4 to 5. Unfortunately, many people will be drawn to charismatic leaders and religious figures who claim to have all the answers. Deception is not a new threat to the church, as we can see from the example of ancient Israel's priests who set up idols of false gods in the temple. Unfortunately, people willingly participated in this idolatry, treating God like another deity. This type of syncretism is still prevalent in today's time. As our society values tolerance over absolute truth, some churches and pastors have even departed from sound doctrine, succumbing to the spirit of deception that has taken hold of our culture. But amidst all this confusion and deception, there is a solution, Jesus Christ. He is the way, truth, and life. Through him, we can find freedom and true understanding. So instead of chasing down every rumor and fighting against false teachings, we should focus on the truth Jesus offers. As he said in John chapter 8, verse 32, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. The Sign of Devastation Jesus warned of famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places as signs of the last days. Unfortunately, we still face these challenges today. Despite our planet's abundance, millions go hungry every day. COVID-19 has brought global attention to the danger of novel diseases, but it is the only one of many outbreaks. Yellow fever, the plague, the Nipah virus, meningitis, and other diseases have all recently emerged. Even worse, superbugs develop antibiotic resistance, making these diseases even harder to treat. In addition to pestilence, we see increased frequency and intensity of earthquakes. What used to occur once every decade now happens almost monthly, with great earthquakes shaking the earth yearly. These events indicate that we are getting closer to Jesus Christ's return. 
While it's easy to feel overwhelmed by these challenges, we must remember that Jesus is our hope and salvation. The Signs of Disputes Among Nations Jesus, in Matthew chapter 24, verse 67, warned his disciples that the end of the age would be marked by wars and rumors of wars, with nations rising against each other. It's not hard to see that this prophecy is coming true. The book of Revelation tells us that unending, terrible war will fill the tribulation period and escalate until the entire world is involved. While some countries currently live in peace, there is a growing sense of instability in international affairs. It's reported that 50% of all research scientists are involved in arms development, and there are at least one military weapon and 4,000 pounds of explosives for every man, woman, and child on Earth. Long ago, the Bible predicted an escalation of conflict as we witness border skirmishes, race wars, and national battles during these end times. We can see that prophecy being fulfilled before our very eyes. The Sign of Deliverance into Tribulation As Jesus warned in Matthew chapter 24, verse 9, in the last days, hostility towards God's people will explode. Then, they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And it's not just a prophecy, it's already happening. Christian business owners are being forced to abandon their beliefs in support of secular, progressive ideals, and Christian faculty members are being passed over for promotions. Christianity is under attack everywhere in America. Globally, the situation is even more daunting, with over 340 million Christians living under high levels of persecution and discrimination in thousands of churches and Christian-affiliated buildings being attacked. As the tribulation approaches, more and more will pay a high price for their faith. But the Olivet Discourse provides a comprehensive outline of prophecy in Scripture. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 6, Jesus warned his disciples to not be troubled, as all these things must come to pass. While the last days will be full of deception, conflict, devastation, and tribulation, biblical prophecy reminds us that it's no match for Almighty God. When we experience terrible events like the COVID-19 pandemic and persecution, we can trust that God declares the end from the beginning. His counsel shall stand. By understanding the sign of the end times in this context, we can join the Apostle Paul in seeing our light affliction as working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. The birth of Jesus was accompanied by stunning wonders, such as a host of angels singing to shepherds and a new star leading wise men to his birthplace. Yet the greatest wonder in the Bible was the virgin birth of the world's savior, Jesus. God sent his son in human form to heal our spiritual, physical, and emotional wounds, a testament to God's infinite love. As we go further in the Gospels, Jesus' ministry on earth was filled with crowds, hoping to witness or seek a miracle for themselves. And Jesus performed extraordinary feats such as making the lame walk, the blind see, and cleansing those possessed by evil spirits. However, not everyone was open to Jesus' miracles as the Pharisees were skeptical of his healing of the sick on the Sabbath. These miraculous events could unite or divide people, depending on their beliefs. Jesus warned his disciples to evaluate the miracles of false prophets as false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, in so much that, if it were possible, they should deceive the very elect. This echoes the story of the Pharaoh's magicians who replicated the first three wonders of Moses in Exodus. On a more positive note, Jesus also empowered his disciples to continue his work, saying, Whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. This includes healing, finding food, and shelter during scarcity, and loving their neighbors unconditionally. What do you think of this last rapture sign? Comment below and subscribe for more.